for the two laws of refraction of light we saw in our previous video. The Snell's law tells us that this ratio is constant and is equal to the refractive index of medium 2 with respect to medium 1. And it is also equal to the ratio of speed of light in medium 1 to the speed of light in medium 2. And that is the same as the ratio of the absolute refractive index of medium 2 to the absolute refractive index of medium 1. Let's try to solve a simple example based on this. Here is a question on your screen. Go through it carefully. We are given the refractive index of glass with respect to air as 1.50. Here, air is the incident medium and glass is the refractive medium. Let us take medium 1 as air and medium 2 as glass. So, N21 is equal to 1.50. But what is N21 equal to? Yes, it's equal to speed of light in medium 1 over the speed of light in medium 2. Here V1 is speed of light in air and V2 is the speed of light in glass. But we aren't given any of the two values. We want to find out the speed of light in glass. And for that, we need the speed of light in air. We can write V2 as V1 over 1.5. The value of speed of light in air is very close to the value of speed of light in vacuum. Hence, we can substitute this value in place of speed of light in air. After doing a bit of math, we will get the speed of light in glass as 2 times 10 to the power 8 meters per second. Don't forget the units. We see that the speed of light in glass is lesser. In the next video, we will talk about an important optical device which is very widely used.